Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about using Photoshop to recolor objects. I like to use spray paint whenever I can when I'm customizing props, but sometimes it's just really, really impractical or just flat out impossible. So I have some techniques that I like to use that I think are a little bit more realistic looking than using the hue and saturation slider. I also want to give you guys some tips on how to recolor objects that are either really, really light or really, really dark because I feel like those tend to be the trickiest ones to work with. All right, so this is the first image that we're gonna be working with today, and hopefully, if I did the editing right, you wouldn't be able to tell that this pink jacket here actually used to be a dark green color in real life. So I don't recommend this method if you are a fashion blogger because you're probably gonna make some people mad when they can't find the jacket in real life, but in my case, I'm not a fashion blogger. I wasn't about to spend hundreds of dollars on a new jacket, and I'm not gonna spray paint my jacket either, so Photoshop it is. So after I went through and did all of my usual edits, um, cleaned up the background, masked that out, did highlights, shadows, all that, I'm going to select the jacket with my magic wand tool. And in this case, because it is furry, it has all that extra detail on the edges, I'm going to refine my edge a little bit. You won't have to do this for every object, but this is just one of those annoying things. <laughs> so what I'm doing here is with the smart radius on, I'm pushing up the radius and it's expanding all of those little edges here in the selection. So with all that selected, I'm going to make a new layer. And this step is really important because we're going to be painting on a pink color on top of the image and you don't want to paint directly on this original layer. You want it to be non-destructive, so we're going to paint on this separate layer here. Alright, so on my new layer here, I'm going to use the brush tool and I'm going to eye drop a pink from in the picture. I'm using 100% opacity here and I'm gonna start painting on. And you'll see right now, it looks a little bit crazy. Like, what are you doing? So, to show you what it's gonna look like, I'm gonna go in here to this blending modes panel and instead of normal, which is just this flat color here, I'm gonna hit color. And you can see this is kind of the direction we're heading in now. Also, you may notice that I'm not getting any pink on the background anywhere. And that's because I have a clipping mask applied to this layer. To apply a clipping mask, you can hit control and click on the layer. And it's going to be in here. And that just means that it's applying this paint layer only to the area that I have masked out. So it's not getting anything on this solid pink background here. And it's also not getting any paint on the dress or my hands or anything that's not inside the selection. So you're gonna deselect here. So I'm just using a softer brush here, kind of brushing in areas that it didn't get. All right, so it's definitely not green anymore, but it's still not really like the bright pink that I was envisioning. So I'm gonna click on this color layer here, and I'm gonna duplicate it just by dragging it down to the new layer icon. And instead of the color blending mode that we were at before, I'm gonna switch it to this soft light. Maybe drag the opacity down a little bit so it's a little more natural. So from here, you can kind of keep piling on the layers, um, playing with the different blending modes here. Linear light is gonna give you like more neon option. Um, anything in this area here, like overlay, it's just gonna give a different look to the photo. So depending on the object that you're working with, what kind of look you're going for, you can kind of achieve a lot from those blending modes. So to recolor really, really light objects, or even white, we're gonna go about it a little bit differently. So say for whatever reason we have this white cake here and we wanna make it have blue frosting instead. So we're gonna start off similarly in that we're gonna select everything that we wanna recolor in that blue color. And I have my new separate paint layer here. It's on a clipping mask. And then with my brush selected, I'm gonna pick a blue color here that we wanna paint it. So just painting on top of here. And watch what happens when we go into the blending mode and change it to color like we did last time. 
time. So it definitely turned part of it blue, um, mostly the gray parts, and then the white is still super white, so we don't have that blue, realistic looking frosting that we're going for. So instead of color, we're gonna change the blending mode. We're gonna go to multiply up here. Push that down. And this is just a base layer. So because we had such a white object to start with, we wanna lay down this flat base layer of color with the multiply. But we still have our shadows in there. It's not like a super flat color. Now I'm duplicating that, and I'm gonna add a color burn layer. And you can see that just made it a little bit deeper, a little bit richer. And I'm gonna add a third layer, and that one's gonna be our soft light, like last time. And that's just gonna add in that natural looking lighting to brighten up those darker areas. So the color looks pretty realistic just by playing with the different blending modes. You got soft light, color burn, and multiply in here, and they all have different opacities just by a little bit, and you can play around with those sliders until it looks the most natural to you. One quick thing here, we got the candles a little bit blue, selected those on accident, so what I'm gonna do is select all these three blending layers, create a new group with them, and then add a mask to this group. Now I can go in with my black brush and mask out all of those layers at once. Get rid of the blue from all three layers instead of going into each separate one. So lastly, we're gonna recolor a black object. So this has been the trickiest for me to figure out personally. Um, it's caused me a lot of trouble um, just because there's no light values, there's no color in a black object, it's just black. So a lot of the colorization methods end up looking really flat and fake. So I'm hoping that this way works out for you guys because this is the method that I usually use for it. So we're gonna start the same way, selecting the black part that we want to recolor. I'm gonna make my new layer, and I'm gonna put a clipping mask on it. And now I'm gonna turn this black Magic 8 Ball hot pink. So my brush tool, paint in the pink here. And then instead of doing multiply or even color at first, this time we're gonna start with screen. And you can see how that kind of brought in the highlights and the shadows, those ranges, back into the flat color. Gonna knock the opacity down just a little bit. So now I'm gonna duplicate that screen layer and change it to color burn. Knock down the opacity. And that's just giving it that rich, a little bit richer color as opposed to this light pink. But you can see it's still got all the reflective values that the black had. So that's the quick method that's worked the best for me. Um, just using that screen layer first to kind of soften up the black and lighten it up and then pushing back in those colors with the color burn. So that's about the basics on recoloring objects. Um, as usual, if you guys have any questions or things you want me to clarify on anymore, just let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you guys. Thanks guys.